Hello and welcome back to another review on the channel. In today's episode, we'll be reviewing Winter Wild Card Matteo Politano, a 5 foot 7 player, high low work rates, left footed, 4 star skill move with a 4 star weak foot. He was very cheap to craft, an 85 squad and an 84 squad. Um, let's hope he doesn't feel cheap in game. Uh, he has 92 pace, 86 shooting, 85 passing, 91 dribbling, and 62 physical. All them stats are insane, good pace. Shooting was a little bit on the low side, um, which is why I've decided to give him the marksman game style just to boost the finishing shot power and long shots. Um, the dribbling is very good as well, but I think the night dribbling need to be boosted just a little bit more. Of course, he will feel agile, but I just want to max out and make him feel as res uh, responsive as possible. And just to give him that little bit of that physical boost as well, the strength is very, very poor. Um, we're going to have to see how that plays out in game. Uh, he does have 54 strength now. Hopefully the aggression uh, will be a good stat. Um, just to help him push off players and keep running. And of course that balance as well is going to make him feel very good. And of course that passing is very good as well. Um, and the interesting thing that I noticed about this card as well is that he has all the traits in game. Um, which I only noticed now. Um, I didn't even notice before. A long throw in, power free kick, leadership, flair, finesse shot. All, all desired traits. So that might make him feel very OP in game. Um, we're going to play him in one position, uh, that's me the striker position. Um, in this team, we will be subbing off uh, Berardi um, for Cristiano Ronaldo. So let's jump into the games and see how well Politano can play. Just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It's up here completely. A long time to go in this game. Oh, he's gone for goal. Too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved the yellow card. Well, the keeper mishandled the ball was the half century of goals today. Well, he's a really good player. Isn't he? He's got clever well, it could be in here, Stuart. Perfect save. Return to point out. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shot. Good use of advantage by the referee. Was it the so, that's, this is the end of the review. Um, we ended up playing in total to about eight games of the card. Scoring about 8 goals and coming out with 3 assists, something like that. Um, yeah, the card was very good. Especially, I noticed the pace straight away after doing step overs of the card and doing skill moves. It was just bursting off so much pace and it was very, very impressive. Um, of course, we was high being 5 or 7, he felt even faster. Of course, we have players that are a bit taller, they don't feel as fast, but Politano was very, very quick. Now, the shooting. The shooting was a little bit inconsistent, um, a little bit annoying as well, even with all the desired traits with the finesse shot, outside foot shot, you know. All these curve traits and everything like that, it was a little bit disappointing. Uh, his shooting was inconsistent, especially in the four star week four. He was scuffing a lot of shots, hitting them wide, hitting it straight at the keeper, which you boys could see from the highlights. And yeah, it was just a little bit annoying. Not to say it was a card killer, um, I would say he still, he still is a very, very good card for the price. He should be much more expensive than that, in my opinion, for the way I use him in game. But if the shooting was a little bit better, don't make this card insane. Now, the passing, the passing was a very, very underrated part of his game. He was playing a lot of through balls over the top, um, coming short, linking up, and just a very, very good card. If you do, if you boys do get this card, I would recommend playing him in the camp position. I did say I would play him in the striker position, but he didn't feel too good there. I played him in the camp position, and he just 
like he woke up he dropped deep he linked up scored scored quite a few goals from that position as well clutching up good shots as well now the dribbling of course that's his strongest attribute nothing bad to say about the dribbling he was so good as you guys could see from the clips he was putting defenders on their backsides putting them on the floor swiveling in and out you have to use the arm dribbling with this card if you don't and i think it'd just be a waste of course left stick dribbling is good with this card but arm dribbling is the best you know utilize all of that dribbling and i think that's where he can shine now the physicals the physicals it was a little bit interesting he was holding off uh, quite a few players with 46 strength you don't expect him to hold off any players but he was and he was holding his own so i think that was very very impressive from this card um especially for his size he was holding off a lot of uh, defenders but yeah one disappointing thing i would say is shooting is a little bit inconsistent um if you do want the full uh finishing i'll give me a, fin a finisher game style just to give him that 99 finishing um, make it feel as good as possible shooting wise but yeah apart from that nothing bad to say about the card highly highly recommend him for the price 85 rate squad and 84 rate squad and yeah uh, a very very cool card uh, released today so yeah boys that is a wrap for the review today if you did enjoy leave a like comment subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video